he's been following it. Will? Yeah, good evening, John. Just a short while ago, this room here was filled with over 300 teachers discussing and deliberating for over three hours on what their course of action should be. Their verdict, strike. The Education Association voted overwhelmingly to a work stoppage after nine months of bargaining, the latest being an eight-hour session that ended with a last best offer from the school board. The offer deemed not good enough. After nine months of negotiation, in good faith, while the Board of Education continued to refuse to agree to a fair and equitable contract, the Strongsville Education Association was left with no other option than to pass a motion for a work stoppage. The Board of Education began preparing for the strike earlier today, busing in replacement teachers to file the necessary paperwork. The subs were greeted by chanting teachers and protesters as they walked with police escorts into City Hall. Those same replacement teachers will begin work tomorrow, teaching a condensed curriculum of English, science, social studies, and math. The teachers union also voted overwhelmingly not to accept those grades distributed by the subs. No, I just hope that the parents understand that we want the kids to be safe tomorrow. Um, and in my opinion, and in our opinion, the safest place for those kids to be is at home with their families and not with potentially unqualified teachers with our kids. Strongsville Superintendent John Krapinski responded to the work stoppage via press release, saying, quote, We are disappointed that our teachers have voted to implement a strike beginning on March 4th, 2013. However, the Board of Education and I are pleased that we have a highly capable and professional administrative team, as well as qualified substitute teachers in place who only want the best for our students. Now, this story is obviously just beginning, so make sure you stay tuned to WKYC and WKYC.com for all the latest details. Reporting live in Strongsville, Will Uick, Channel 3 News.